Last Friday, Queen Elizabeth II and her great-granddaughter Lilibeth, daughter of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, had their long-awaited meeting. Following Thanksgiving service at St. Paul's Cathedral, the Dukes traveled to Windsor Castle to meet privately with the monarch and introduce her to their daughter, Lily. It is also reported that the Sussexes are planning to celebrate the baby girl's birthday in a small circle, which will consist of only the closest people. Obviously, Elizabeth II will be the chief guest at this celebration. By the way, the monarch has already announced that she will skip the Epsom race, the date of which falls on Lily's birthday. It is worth noting that Meghan and Harry named their daughter specifically after Her Majesty. The Sussexes revealed that they named their baby girl Lilibet in honor of Queen Elizabeth II's childhood nickname, which her loved ones, including Prince Philip, used to call her. The palace also said that the Dukes did not ask the monarch for permission to name their daughter by that name, said expert Johnny Diamond. The Prince Charles is not thought to have seen his granddaughter Lilibet before. By the way, the only family members who already know the Duke's daughter are Princess Eugenie and her husband, Jack Brooksbank. In February, the couple visited Montecito, where they enjoyed spending a little vacation in the company of Meghan, Harry and their children. It's worth noting that for Junior Archie, the meeting with the Queen was the first in two years, as the Sussex family now lives in California. By the way, on Friday, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle also attended a beneficiary service held at St. Paul's Cathedral. Unfortunately, Her Majesty was unable to attend due to her well-being, the monarch was very tired during the Trooping the Color Parade. At the service, the Dukes of Sussex were warmly received, although not without angry comments from the crowd of royal admirers. Experts note that Princes Harry and William, and their wives, did not attend any of the Platinum Jubilee events, so it's likely the Cambridges will not be attending Lilibeth's birthday party. 127.00.1 it seems that Meghan Markle is going to give battle to Queen Elizabeth II and compete with her statuses. It is worth noting that the Duchess may succeed, because the sister of the current President of the United States, Joe Biden invited the Duchess to join the Democratic Party, and then all ready to run for election in 2024. Certainly, the policy and behavior of the present USA President, to put it mildly, is strange and incomprehensible. Probably for this reason Valerie Biden Owens, 76 years old, decided that such posts should be occupied by the person, who at least is in sober mind, memory and is not lost in space. However, Joe Biden's sister did not criticize her relative, but only noted that Meghan is a young and promising woman, and there should be many more such people in politics. In addition, for 10 years, the Biden family has been in close contact with Prince Harry, and now the Duchess herself has decided to take advantage of the connection. It's wonderful that there are more women in politics. The more women there are, the better the democratic system will work. We invite Meghan to become part of that system and the Democratic Party, Owen said. Valerie also called Meghan a good candidate for president. The politician didn't forget to talk about the campaign that Joe Biden is currently running. Of course, Valerie didn't criticize her brother for serious mistakes and noted that he will run for president in 2024 as well. It's worth noting that Republicans have long accused Joe Biden of being profoundly unfit, especially horrified by his psychic health. He tells the truth. Sometimes he's wrong, but I would call it an oversight, Valerie commented on her brother's behavior. However, Owens also said she wasn't thrilled with Biden and Trump's protesting of the 2020 election, because it destroyed part of their family. I didn't like the fact that he was running against the former president because I think Trump was out to destroy my brother and my family. Joe is the right man and he has things left to do that he needs to see through. Americans know who Joe is, Valerie said proudly, turning a blind eye to her brother's fatal missteps and the opinion of the public. By the way, it was Owens who was a senior advisor to Baden's presidential campaign in 2020, and now they will continue their collaboration in the upcoming election in 2024. Less than a month remains before the main celebration for all Britons, the Trooping the Colour Parade in honour of the Queen of Great Britain's birthday. Who will join Her Majesty on the balcony of Buckingham Palace was announced yesterday by a palace official. The Queen has decided that this year's traditional Trooping the Colour balcony appearance on Thursday June 2nd, will be limited to Her Majesty and those members of the royal family who are currently performing official public duties on behalf of the Queen. 17 members of the royal family will appear in public with the Queen that day. They include Prince Charles and Duchess Camilla, Prince William and Kate Middleton with George, Charlotte, and Louis, Elizabeth's youngest son Prince Edward with his wife Sophia and children Louisa and James. As well as Princess Anne and her husband, Vice Admiral Sir Tim Lawrence, the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester, the Duke of Kent and Princess Alexandra. The scandal plagued Prince Andrew, who is about to lose his status as Duke, 
is not invited. Neither are his daughters, Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie. Elizabeth's grandson Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are not on the royal lists either, they laid down their royal obligations back in 2020. However, the reunion of the royal family may still take place. Minutes after the announcement of the Queen's will, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry made their statement, in which they confirmed that they would attend the celebrations. And not alone, baby Lilibeth will come to London with them for the first time. And Elizabeth II will be able to finally meet her great-granddaughter. Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are thrilled and proud to be attending the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebration in June with their children, a spokesperson for the couple said. Harry and Meghan are expected to appear at the church service at St. Paul's Cathedral. But those close to the royal family do not rule out that the couple may also go out on the balcony of Buckingham Palace, contrary to the original plans. But the Queen wants the family to present a united front. There is a huge amount of effort going on behind the scenes to make that happen, insiders report. The traditional opening ceremony of the new session of the British Parliament will take place today. However, for the first time in her reign, the 96-year-old Queen Elizabeth II will not be able to attend the official part of the event. Being of advanced age, she has become immobilized and, according to officials, has some difficulty in moving around. The Queen continues to have occasional mobility problems and, after consulting her doctors, has reluctantly decided that she will not attend tomorrow's state opening of Parliament, said an official statement from Buckingham Palace. The throne speech on behalf of Her Majesty will be delivered by her son, 73-year-old Prince Charles, who will assume the primary constitutional responsibility of head of state for the first time. The decision is considered unprecedented in modern history. The Queen's grandson, 39-year-old Prince William, is also scheduled to appear at the opening of Parliament as a state advisor. Also, it has recently become known that Her Majesty will not be able to attend events on the occasion of the celebration of the 70th anniversary of her own rule. Other members of the royal family will go to different countries of the United Kingdom, and Prince William and Kate Middleton will lead the celebration of the anniversary. Recall that last May the Queen attended the opening ceremony of the new session of Parliament in London for the last time. It was Elizabeth's first public appearance since the funeral of her husband, Prince Philip. On the afternoon of May 10, immediately after the opening of the regular session of Parliament, Prince William travelled to Manchester, where he and his wife, Kate Middleton, attended the opening ceremony of the Glade of Light Memorial. It is dedicated to the victims of the terrorist attack that took place at Manchester Arena on May 22, 2017. For the outing, Kate Middleton chose an outfit that was already in her closet. We saw this dark grey Michael Kors tweed coat dress on the Duchess of Cambridge in March 2017 during the opening of another memorial, to honour participants, both military and civilian, in the wars in Iraq, Afghanistan and the Persian Gulf from 1990 to 2015. If then Kate complimented the outfit with a blue hat, now, with dark blue suede high-heeled pumps, a purse of French brand Poulain to match the shoes and earrings in the form of bees and honeycomb. These earrings were chosen for a reason, bees are a symbol of Manchester. The spouses laid flowers to the monument and honored the victims with a minute of silence. The monument was designed as a result of an international design competition. At its center is a ring with a halo of white marble on which the names of the dead are engraved in bronze. Embedded in the stone are personalized memory capsules filled with memories and mementos of them provided by loved ones. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge then traveled to Manchester Cathedral for a private reception, where they met with the families of the victims as well as responders. <laughs>